were you equally shocked with Eric Bowling and Bill O'Reilly? Uh, no. I mean, I was less shocked with them because I had worked there, so I knew the kind of licentious mm -hmm. climate that Roger mm -hmm. allowed. Um, however, there are still things that come out. I mean, so, so I'm not shocked in the broad sense, but I was certainly shocked by the details. I mean, mm -hmm. the details are shocking, um, and I was shocked by the settlement amount. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's $32 million is a shocking number. It's a shocking settlement. There's no way to get your arms around that mm -hmm. one. Mm -hmm. Do you think there's going to be more that's going to come out about that? Look, as we all know, everybody has NDAs, everybody has confidentiality agreements. Mm -hmm. um, so they, you know, women are silenced, uh, as we all know, and... But she, but supposedly he's being sued now because he's accused of breaking that NDA. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to know who planted what. Mm -hmm. uh, it's hard to know how that got out. I mean, he, he surely would not have wanted that out. No, but he's being sued by uh, this person with the settlement because what because the uh, supposedly he said negative stuff that was part of the settlement. This is exactly what just happened this weekend. So uh, Rupert Murdoch came out last week and said it's all nonsense. He was just interviewed. And he said it's all nonsense. Um, he said, we're, we're, you know, we're being attacked for our political leaning. It, it, it didn't, ha I mean, he basically said like it didn't happen. He said there were a couple instances with our former chairman, referring to Roger, and when we found out about it, he was gone within hours. So that caused, um, there was a backlash at Fox News about that. Women felt that that was uh, at least tone deaf and um, then a woman named Tamara Holder, who was one of the women who had gotten, I assume, a settlement and had to sign an NDA because of what had happened to her in terms of sexual, I mean, it's beyond sexual harassment. I think that it might have risen to sexual assault. There was a physical right. uh, incident. She, she, between, goes on Brian's, uh, she goes on Brian's she went show. She on CNN, Brian Seltzer's show, and she broke her NDA publicly because she said, Rupert Murdoch just broke his. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if Rupert Murdoch is going to say that there was nothing there and that nothing happened, I think all bets are off. Mm -hmm. And I thought that that was really brave and interesting, mm -hmm. and I don't know what's going to happen next. Mm -hmm. But I thought that that was, that's an interesting trial balloon mm -hmm. to see if women are going to feel more free to talk. 